G'day everybody! In today's video, we're going to explore how we can modify the traffic light phases in City Skylines 2. I'm going to be talking about vanilla unmodded City Skylines 2. I know we have mods now, specifically the traffic light enhancement mod, which allows you to change how your traffic lights work. It lets you choose from four simple setups, and although, although I don't think these are the four I would have picked, having four options is a lot better than just having the one option in vanilla. Well, actually, if you've watched my last video, you'll know that City Skylines 2 actually has more than one option. At Y-shaped intersections, where there's no obvious direction to call through traffic, it will use split phasing. That was my first clue that geometry can affect the phasing of the traffic lights. But it turns out you don't need a Y-shaped 120 degree sharp angle to affect the traffic light. Let's first look at how the game handles intersections with parallel segments at a single big node. If you don't know how to make a node like this, I'll include some techniques at the end of the video. At these kind of nodes, you'll have a segment entering and a segment leaving in each of the directions for four segments in the north-south direction and four segments in the east-west direction. Any roads that are parallel will be grouped under a single phase of the traffic light, which produces the well-known permissive left turns that run concurrently with the through movement. However, if even one of these four segments is slightly askew from parallel, then the game will default back to split phasing for those approaches to the intersection. This works whether it's a segment leading into the intersection or a segment leading away from the intersection. The angle looks to need to be around about 3 degrees from parallel for the large networks and around about 4 degrees for the thinner, smaller networks. I should also point out that I'm not the first person to have made this discovery. When I was researching this video, I discovered Taco Lato on Reddit had posted that it was possible to make split phase intersections in vanilla. And likewise, Are you Channel on YouTube had posted a guide to make a three phase split phase junction for a T intersection. If you've watched my last video, you'll remember that split phasing on all approaches is really good when you have high volumes of turning traffic, but absolutely terrible when you have high volumes of through traffic. The vanilla, however, works fine when the intersection is mostly through traffic and hardly anyone is turning. But what about that middle area where you have a little bit of through traffic and a little bit of left turning traffic? Well, that's where you want simultaneous left turns. Are those possible in vanilla? If you've ever tried to make a single point intersection in City Skylines 2, you'll have noticed that the game really doesn't want the left turns to occur simultaneously. This is because they're one-way segments, and the game only wants to group together two-way traffic. So to make them simultaneous left turns, you have to make them two-way networks. Even a tiny little stop network is enough to make them occur simultaneously, but boy does it look ugly. Still, it does allow us, in vanilla without mods, to have simultaneous left turns occurring in their own phase. So maybe there's something we can use here. Let's take some inspiration from the center turn overpass design, which is a two level arterial to arterial design where the through traffic crosses at grade and the left turns all occur in the middle at an overpass. Now imagine we flatten all of this down to a single at grade intersection. To ensure that we get protected left turns occurring on a different phase to the through traffic, the left turn lanes have to be askew by at least three degrees as we've learned previously and it needs to be a two-way network. But if you do this, you can technically get simultaneous left turns to occur in Vanilla City Skylines 2 without any mods. What if instead we take a stack interchange where all turning traffic exits from the outside lane and left turns all fly over the very center of the interchange and flatten that into an at-grade intersection? Okay, you'll need multiple one-way networks as the vehicles will be opposite the usual traffic direction that would happen on a two-way network. But because the left turns are 45 degrees offset from the through traffic, you do technically get protected left turns in Vanilla City Skylines 2. One advantage of these two techniques that I've shown today is that you can apply them both to a single intersection, such as this one that has split phasing on the top and bottom approaches and protected left turn on the other busy approach. The remaining left turn was too low volume to cater for, so it was just banned. This gives you even more flexibility for your traffic lights. Note also that I've added in a right turn slip lane for that one very heavy turn movement, which mostly replicates the advanced split phasing from the TLE mod. Okay, so to build the big nodes there are three techniques. First you can widen the node by placing a roundabout on it, and then delete each of the two-way roads and draw in parallel one-way roads until they only just connect to the roundabout. Then delete the roundabout and hope that it looks the way you wanted it to look. The second technique 
involves just using really wide networks that will widen the intersection node sufficiently to connect parallel networks to it. Alternatively, you can widen the node by successively drawing over each leg of the intersection until the node is wide enough to connect your parallel roadways to it. I usually end up using a combination of all three of these methods in different parts, so just experiment until you get one that works. I don't think these solutions are exactly the most elegant way of handling moderate volumes of left-turning traffic, and as I said in my previous video, I think that some alternative intersection designs where you ban the left turns and shift them to another intersection are probably a better way of managing this level of traffic. But let me know in the comments if you learned something today or if you have any extra hints to add. Thanks for watching.